Hello everybody, Alpha Galaxy here. Are you guys excited for this new spring update from Palea? We now have these awesome seeds that you get from bugs around the map. And today I'm going to show you where to find each bug and what bug drops what. So that you can plant them and also have this addition to your home plot. They also have these really cool animations that I'm hoping they'll eventually add to our gardening plot. When you're done watering them, they do this really cool thing. I'm really excited. I hope that gets added to the garden. But I think it's a really cool, neat little addition to make things just a little bit more of a splash of magic. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. So something to keep in mind, which is really, really great, and I'm glad they did it this way, that once the plants or the flowers grow to full maturity, you can then collect the seeds and be able to continue to get more seeds as you plant them. Here we go. So once these are fully matured, the next day I'll be able to get some seeds off of them. Which I'm really excited. Oh, there you go. Perfect. Even better. Which will help you not have to grind as much to get all the flowers or the flower beds that you want and really does help us out to make things easier. So here is the list of each bug and what seeds they drop. So you have the common bu blue butterfly will drop the gardenia, the kilmanite moth will drop the rose, the spotted stink bug will drop the forthithia, the brush tail dragonfly will drop the chapa tail, garden leaf hopper will drop the tulip, the garden millipede will drop the lavender, proud horned stag beetle will drop the tiger lily. Blue Hydrangea, Duskwing Butterfly will drop, the Anemone, the Garden Mantis, and the Grim All Kintail, which is a common field cricket. Oof, those were some pronunciations. <laughs> but, alright, now I'm going to show you where they all are located. Thankfully, these are all located in the Kilma Village area. So, let's take a look. So, one more thing before we get into the, the little boogos and where to find them. Don't forget to go to this giant frog over here. It's past Kima Village, right next to the boat launch here in this little area. And you take this side right here, and then you jump across, and then you can climb right on top of the frog. So once you get right over to here... You can just fly across and make sure to climb all the way to the top. There is a reward up here. Which I thought was so exciting because they already gave us a giant frog, but they gave it a little friend to go with it. So once you get up here, right about here, You'll find this little guy, Frogbert plush, and also this amazing view of Kilmer. Now, let's get into those bugs. Okay, so the Duskwing butterfly is found around the Dragonshine in Kilma during the morning and day. This one can be quite tough to find, especially if you're catching a bunch of them. They're not dropping the seeds for you. I used a lure in the morning for this, and I got so many Duskwing butterflies. Next is the common field cricket. You'll find them all over Kilma Village while you're running around, especially near the farm. Proud horned stag beetles. The horns of this stag beetle are said to resemble that of the proud horned snook. With a chance to be found when mining in Kilma. So when you destroy the rocks around, sometimes these little bugs will jump out and crawl around. And we got the brush chill dragonfly. 
found around the lake in Kilma, as well as rivers and ponds in Bahari Bay. There are a lot of these near Enar. These are also near Enar. The garden mantis found around Lake and Kilma also has a chance to be found when forging around the Lake and Kilma. So when you go near where like all the clay is, you usually find quite a bit of these. The garden leaf hopper also has a chance to be found when forging in Kilma, found in the fields, and Badru's farm in Kilma. I found these a lot in Mirrorfield too, um, where Gina kind of hangs out by that pond. I do find quite a bit of them there. Millipede. The garden millipedes found in the fields of Kilma also has a chance to be found when forging in the fields of Kilma. We've got the night moth found all around Kilma and Bahari Bay during the evening and night. These are pretty common at nighttime. These aren't too hard. And the stink bug is found all around Kilma and Bahari Bay. You'll find these everywhere. So, that's all of them, for now, anyways. I noticed that they seemed to do Kilma Village first, so we'll see if uh, Bahari Bay down the road, those bugs in that area, will start dropping different flowers as time goes on. But, yeah, have fun. Enjoy all these new exciting plants to make your home even more precious and beautiful than I'm sure it already is. And yeah, if you have any questions, leave a comment down below. And I always love hearing from you guys and what you have to say and and always try to answer whatever you guys have for questions. So thanks for watching and I will see you guys again soon. Take care. Thank you all so much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe to my YouTube here for future content. And if you want to catch out my live streams, you can follow me here on Twitch as well. Thank you all so much.